Hello guys, Colonel Mini here. Aerial combat is all about reducing the risk to ourselves and increasing the risk to the enemy. Enemy fighters have their entire arsenal facing forward, so if you never get in front of them, you're perfectly safe. We can therefore attack a fighter at any quadrant, at any angle, from any direction. All the twin-engine bombers and the IL-2 Stormovic have defensive firepower. And it makes sense that if we're going to attack from the rear that we know what firepower is situated where on each aircraft and what their arcs of fire are. For this video we're just going to look at the A-20B Havoc. In terms of defensive firepower it has 150 caliber gun on the dorsal or the top of the fuselage and it has 130 caliber gun in the ventral or underneath. So watch how I attack with impunity here from the forward quarter. If you've watched my tutorial on how to improve your aerial gunnery by understanding ballistics, geometry and physics, this should make a lot more sense to you. Basic methods to attack are to use either lag, pure or lead pursuits. And understanding this with pursuit curves will help you to end up in the right place at the right time for a perfect shot. And part of that decision-making process is to ensure that you're not putting yourself in a danger zone when you're attacking the enemy. Approaching from below, I'm in the 30 calibers arc of fire. You can clearly see his tracer. Passing above the horizontal, I then am in the 50 calibers arc of fire instead. In this case I was lucky, but it's stupid for me to put myself in this position if there are alternatives to attack these aircraft. You can see the danger I put myself in here by flying behind all these bombers. So I change tactics and start attacking from the side. And this requires the greatest skill for deflection shooting. That's one and by flying parallel to the formation I stay out of the way of those 50 calibers until I'm ready to make another attack. And here he comes. By zooming in and under from the side the other two aircraft don't have a chance to shoot at me. So I've damaged all three aircraft without any damage to myself. Now I can choose the weakest one and destroy it. Sometimes you may want to accept that risk and in this case if I lose sight of him he's going to take off into the clouds. So I'll stay a bit further back and try and take him out with my heavier firepower. And you'll notice that the gunners have not fired that's because I'm in the sweet spot right behind where neither one can open fire. And now he sticks his nose down and the 30 cal opens up. And now I'm exposing myself to unnecessary risk. I should break it off, climb up and see if he crashes. One of the things we discussed in the aerial gunnery tutorial was the fact that in a turn your bullets will fly out from the center of the turn. So what this means is if you are on the inside of a turn, your bullets will find their mark on the opponent on the outside of the turn. Watch. If I open fire at the wingtip, expect the bullets will find the fuselage. which kills the pilot. Another example here of staying on the inside of the turn to achieve the shot. So now I'll try and stay in the sweet spot. If his gunners are alive they can't see me because of the smoke and I'll just wait for him to zigzag in front of my bullet stream and eventually he will come down.
I see no risk to me at this point. Another method to approach an unsuspecting bomber is to be right underneath him and climb almost vertically to intercept. This again keeps you away from the 30 cal arc of fire, or at least makes you a much more difficult target. Don't forget to check forward on the stick at the top of the arc and open fire a little early. To find the sweet spot here, and then dive down to do it again. This bomber is on the approach to landing. And of course my favorite, up close and personal. Just when everyone's relaxing, thinking they've made it home safely. It looks like the 30 cal cannot be depressed that low which is perfect. By making my attack from the front quadrant, I am sure that the 50 caliber cannot come to bear. It's a pity he stopped. It's all about risk versus reward. No risk to me, and no reward for him. And once again, planning to attack from a midships, that's not going to be a problem with that 50 caliber. Nothing beats a well ventilated fuselage. Thanks for watching, guys. If you've enjoyed this video, found it helpful, please like it, or subscribe, or if there's another topic you'd like me to cover, please